This recent LinkedIn article showed the analysis of 80 plus tech jobs. Most of them were related to AI ML data science. And it showed that there were more than 1000 applicants per job. Now this huge competition on data science related roles is leading to a lot of people having really, really hard time finding a data science related jobs in today's tough tech job market. And because of this, a lot of people are wondering, should they stay in the data science field or move to some other field? In this video, I'll go over the main reasons why getting a data science job is so hard in today's job market. And we'll be looking at some trends to see that what the future of data science looks like. So that based on all this information, you can make an informed decision on should you stick to the data science field or move to some other tech field. My name is Anwar and I've been working as a data scientist for the last 10 years in some of the big tech names in the US. And in all these years of experience, I've never seen getting a data science job so tough as it is today. So it's very understandable that people have doubts about the future of the data science field. To understand why getting a data science role is pretty tough, let's first quickly look at the overall tech job market on how it's doing. Now, when we look at this graph from TrueUp, we noticed two things. One, that the number of open jobs in the tech industry have significantly decreased in the last two years. The other thing which is worth noticing is that there are about 216,000 job openings in total. Now, considering that about 10 to 20% of these tech jobs are actually ghost jobs, where companies post these jobs with no intention of hiring a candidate, at least for the short term. We also know that universities are producing about 120,000 CS graduates every year. On top of that, about 85,000 new people come to the US on job visas, which is H-1B, and about 90% of them are related to tech roles. Then there are people who are coming from boot camps or getting into the tech industry from other fields or have been in the job market for six months, 12 months. When you combine all these people together, 216 open tech jobs are just not enough. And this of course leads to a lot of competition for the jobs which are currently open. Now, when we look specifically for data science roles, this competition is even more. And the main reason for that is there is just so much supply of new people who are becoming data scientists, AI, ML engineers, and trying to compete for these roles. When Harvard Business Review declared data science as the sexiest job of the 20th century in 2012, that led to a lot of people getting into the field of data science and machine learning when the latest Gen AI tools like ChatGPT and Google Gemini emerged. It seems like everyone wants to learn AI, ML, data science, but there are just not enough jobs for all these people who are getting into this field. Now, the situation is not very desperate. I'll go over some of the ways in which you can still increase your odds of landing a job. But probably the most important thing which I briefly want to mention here is how good your resume is. Having a good resume makes all the difference in the world when you're applying for new roles. Your resume Resume is the only thing recruiters and the companies have access to when they're looking at your profile. So it's very important you have a good one. I have a link in the description of the resume I have personally used and you can modify it according to your experience and education. I have had tremendous results with that resume template. I'm pretty sure it will be valuable for you as well. It is absolutely free. The link for that is in the description. Now let's tackle the main question, which is the topic of this video. What does the future of data science look like? I tried to look into different resources for that. I didn't want to just rely on one single resource to draw any conclusions. First, let's look at these statistics coming from government's Bureau of Labor and Statistics Department. Now, it forecasts 36% growth in the data science industry, which is much more than other industries. This other chart, this is coming from TrueUp, and it shows that the trend line for AI ML role is going in a very positive upward direction. Though the number of jobs at the moment are still not enough considering we have a big pool of applicants. But when you look at the trajectory of these jobs, it is very positive and very encouraging. And lastly, let's look at another data website. This is coming from Live Data Technologies. And there are a lot of bars here. So I just want you to focus on the one related to data science. It shows a growth of 104%, which also means that 
that data science roles and jobs, they're still growing. So if you are thinking of abandoning your data science career just because the job market is pretty tough right now, I don't think that is a wise move. Regardless of whichever tech industry you go to, the competition there is very tough. But considering the upward job trends which I've just shown you, it looks like data science has a very promising future. Another thing worth remembering is the number one reason behind this decline of job posts and also the increase in layoffs is just one thing, and that is high interest rates. When Fed reduced the interest rates in 2020, we saw a significant increase in tech job postings. When the Fed started increasing the interest rates in 2022, we saw a significant decline in tech jobs as we are experiencing today. Now, the good news is that the Fed has started decreasing interest rates again. They just decreased it by 0.5%. They're going to decrease it further. That's what they have said. Now, the impact on the jobs of these interest rate reductions won't be immediate. It takes four to six months to notice that impact. But the positive impact on tech job market is definitely going to come in the next four to six months. So my advice to you is stay put, keep working hard on your skill set. Try to get some experience under your belt. If you are unable to find a paid job, try to get an unpaid internship. Build some projects. Just somehow get some industry real life experience so that you could put it on your resume. Go deep into the concepts and build some strong fundamental knowledge. Don't think just because you can write dot fit and dot predict and have a machine learning model working, it doesn't mean you are a good AI ML engineer. You have to know the fundamentals. Fundamentals of coding, fundamentals of statistics, fundamentals of ML concept. That is a lot of knowledge to cover. So when you are jobless, and this is the time to invest in your skill set, learn all those skills. So as the tech job market opens up and there are more jobs, you're best prepared to get those jobs. Now, in terms of some actual tips on landing the job, first, get your resume right. That is the most important thing when it comes to job search. I'm sharing in the description below the resume I've used myself. It's absolutely for free. Download it and modify it. It worked for me, I'm pretty sure it'll work for you as well. Secondly, I've created a separate video on the topic of how you can find some low competition jobs where there are not hundreds or even thousands of job applicants. With these low competition jobs, the number of applicant pools would hopefully be small so that when you apply with a good resume, you have a much better chance of standing up. Please check out this video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thank you so much for watching.